Hey, I'm getting set to install the engine in the CX500 here, but while I have everything taken apart, there's a little bit of cleaning detail work that I can get done, and uh, I wanna show how I go about that. Welcome to Urban Monk TV. Okay, so I got the CX-500 here, I've got the engine out, as those of you who are following along know. The bike has got 40 years worth of grease, grime, you know, road dirt, that kind of stuff, oil, uh, gasoline, uh, on it in pretty much every nook and cranny, as old vintage motorcycles often do. and. Um, there are things I can do with the whole bike put together with a pressure washer and uh, a bucket of soap and water, but having the bike apart presents an opportunity to do some detail work in fine little nooks and crannies that are otherwise very difficult to get at. And so I call it detail work. The thing I don't want to do is roll this thing out while it's all taken apart where I have electrical components uh, disconnected and connectors open to the atmosphere and start you know doing a pressure wash on it. I've also got vacuum lines and air intakes. Everything's open and if I go pressure washing I'm gonna put water and force water into places where I don't want it to go. I want to be more controlled than that. So um, here's how I'm going about it. So yeah as I mentioned you know areas like this when the engine's out, I can get at it right now. I don't want to go wheeling this thing outside and hitting it with the pressure washer and dousing it in water. I just want to have a controlled cleanup here. And then there's parts like this coolant reservoir that I can take off easily enough, just clean it as an individual unit. Um, but it'd be hard to get that thing really clean with the engine in. So. I'm just doing some spot cleaning here. And what I've decided to give a try for this is this super clean uh, cleaner cleanser degreaser. Um, it's more than just water and surfactants, uh, and it is water-based, I should note that, but um, it's also really high uh, alkaline on the pH scale, so it will cut through this stuff is the hope and but in this way you know it's controlled I've got this and I've got a bucket of clean water here with a rag uh, and so that I can rinse this stuff up right away why do I want to rinse it up right away because as I said it's alkaline it is uh, it's gonna be corrosive if you leave it on too long uh, in fact they even say right on there don't let this stuff dwell full strength on motorcycles or uh, surfaces that you you know really care about um, and for a lot of applications uh, they recommend diluting it and they have a nice dilution chart but I am going to use it here full strength and then just rinse right away with uh, clean water after I'm done with all of this and I get the engine back in the bike uh, then I will use some other products also super clean to tackle uh, grease on the engine and some of the stuff back here and then we'll use the pressure washer and just give the whole bike a nice cleanup uh, before I do some touch up to the frame. I am going to go ahead and wear rubber gloves when I'm using it because it's alkaline it's probably going to be hard on the skin and uh, eye protection is recommended also. I wear glasses so I'm going to go with that but if you don't uh, put something over your eyes little dwell time man that cuts really well and there's nothing to that and then of course the water will then neutralize the pH and uh, bring that down to where it's not going to be harmful to the paint sitting in there 
and just being real careful about where it goes. I'm going to take this um, ignition coil pack off. Well, I gotta say it works really well. Not that this is the greasiest of locations, but I do have some other locations here that definitely are greasy. Let's do one of those. So with this thing, it's plastic, so I mean there is some metal parts here. I'm not too concerned about them. If I was, I guess I could take them off. I'll just take those aluminum inserts out and I'll put them back in later. And this guy's metal. So now I'm all plastic and this has gotten a lot of fuel and uh, engine oil type grease road grime on it, plus just dirt, and uh, just a slight amount, yeah, it's coming off like nothing. It doesn't just fall off, it does take a little wiping or what I'm fond of calling mechanical energy. Not bad. Now, the inside of this has some dead bugs and this engine had uh, an oil seal go bad in the mechanical, uh, well, in the water pump, and so oil, engine oil, was getting into the coolant, and the inside is kind of a mess. So I'm thinking I'm going to put some of this inside of it and shake it around a bit, but diluted. Being really unscientific about this. I would guess I put in a half an ounce. Oops, I don't want it draining out. So right there, I got some on my fingers, but I'm wearing gloves. Um, where are the gloves? Because it's so easy to get on your skin when you're doing something like this. But I'll just do a little bit of 100% for a second. It foams up nicely, and then just a little water. Not bad. I just cleaned up this on the wire wheel because it was getting a little rust on it as well as this piece. And there it is. Looks pretty good. So now I've gotten to a point where my rag has a significant amount of the degreaser cleaner in it. Uh, because I use that water as my rinse for so much, 
you know, I can just kind of spot this stuff before I put that reservoir back in here. I'm going to put some on my rag here, just sort of full strength, and get this hose. Yeah, that's really working. You can see all of the grease and oil and dirt and grime that came off. And then I'm going to just rinse it because I don't want the hose to degrade with all that high pH of alkalinity. Respect your chemistry. It's all energy. Everything's energy. You are energy. I am energy. This motorcycle is energy. So is this hose. And so is this stuff. Energy being used to clean energy. How about that? Amazing. How about this high tension lead here? You know, that's not coming off of there. But with control, I can get that off really easily and then rinse it with another part of the rag. It's detail work, but that's what brings these things back from 40 years of use and abuse and misuse or lack of use and brings them back into uh, beauty. Okay, you know, it's a 40-year-old finish, but at least it's clean. Love this about Honda. They welded this into the frame so you know exactly where this thing goes. A little notch there. I mean, I can't get it wrong putting it back on. Honda. Love it. And in here, things are looking pretty good. You know, if you see any dirt there still, it's probably not the fault of the process it's the fault of me missing it or uh, just growing tired here tonight but uh, I'm pretty happy with this as a spot degreaser and cleaner this worked really well I also want to talk briefly about this product because uh, I got it with my other degreaser cleaner and I had a contractor come and drip a bunch of oil with his truck on my driveway and so he gave me an opportunity to try this and thought I'd just show it to you real quick. So the truck was parked here over the course of several days. These spots are ones where I put that absorber down. These two I did not use it so just left to nature uh, this was the result in my concrete. By putting the absorber down, clearly I was able to save the concrete from having to absorb um, a lot. And I've got less that I have to get out of there now. Sorry, when I'm outside the glasses go dark. They'll lighten up in a second. Um, that's it. That's detailing the CX-500 and uh, using that super clean cleaner degreaser in full strength for detail work. Um, again, just make sure that you're not spraying that on and leaving it there too long. Give it a couple seconds to do its work and then dilute it with water, you know, uh, get that pH neutralized, get it rinsed off of there, and it works pretty darn good. Uh, I'm happy with the result. And then on that absorber, you know, I probably could have acted faster. Of course, that truck is on top of the spill for the day time that the contractor is here and he's got to move the truck and then I get the stuff down. 
but it clearly did reduce the amount of the oil that uh, was absorbed into my concrete. And what I'm going to do next in a future video is SuperClean has another product that I think I'm going to try to use uh, to get the rest of it out of the concrete. And I'll just do that in a future video, so stay tuned for that. Hey, if you like motorcycles and uh, custom builds, check out my book, Creating Mr. Corton. It is available on urbanmonktv.com. And if you like this video and content like this, uh, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to become an urban monk. Thanks for watching.